Dan Shingles and I play in midfield. When did you take up hockey? Uh, I took up when I was about 16 um, at school. Um, school teacher there sort of picked me up from there and took me down to his club, which was Pearlywell Countians in Kent. And, and what sort of attracted you about the sport? Um, I guess it was sort of the fast-paced nature. Um, at the time, I was a bit more um, sort of a bit more of a footballer at the time, and I think the similarity sort of drew me towards it. Um, but it was the fast-paced action and. Um, just how attacking it was really and how fun it looked. And you were actually quite a talented footballer, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I was good. I was, I was a Millwall trainee until I was 18, um, but then didn't get my, my professional contract, unfortunately. But obviously it meant that I could then take up hockey. And obviously hockey doesn't get the same sort of following and coverage as football does. Do you kind of find yourself torn between the two now? Or do you still, still love one more than the other? Or? Uh, well, I love watching football. Um, avid supporter of Man United, which is you know, quite good at the moment for those guys. Um, it'd be nice if hockey could obviously get a little bit more coverage, um, which is now you know, beginning to happen, especially with the Olympics around the corner. It's great to see a lot more of the, the European tournaments um, and the indoors especially that are getting good coverage. Um, and hopefully that will continue and sort of you know, push the sport on a little bit. And when did you come to Southgate Hockey Club? Um, a friend actually um, at university. Um, I was playing for Teddington, who were uh, very local at the time, um, who then got relegated and um, sort of disbanded a little bit, to be honest. Um, so a friend was playing at university and, and drew me down to Southgate. And what's the attraction of the club here? You've obviously got some great facilities. And... Uh, well, all sorts. I mean, at the time, John Shaw was coaching, who obviously, you know, a big hockey name. Um, it would be great to work alongside John, and, and I did for a number of years, which was great. But also, as you say, the facility, the pitch, um, it's just a great place to play hockey, really. And what would you say was your sort of biggest hockey memory so far from, from what you've achieved either internationally or at a club level? Um, club level, a few years back, we, we got to the, uh, the quarterfinals of the Cup. Um, there was a great game here against Cannock, which was a three all at, uh, at the end of time. And then, and then I managed to score a golden goal um, right at the end of extra time, um, which put us through, which at that time, um, Cannock, you know, right on top of the game. Um, and for us, that had sort of, you know, just sort of just really getting to to grips with the Premier League was, was a really good achievement. Other than that, um, it's sort of, you know, the first time I managed to, to, to play for England A was probably a, a great achievement. Pulling on the shirt was, was really good. And you, you've scored, I think, four goals this season and top goal scorer at the club. Um, <laughs> okay. is, is that one of the many strings to your bow? Uh, well, it's news to me. Um, I, I like to pitch in, um, as I should do really, as sort of an attacking midfielder. Um, obviously, goals have been a little bit hard to come by this year just to you know, the nature of how we're playing and the you know the rival we've got against other clubs and, and the quality that's going on, but yeah, I do like to pitch in as much as possible. And what would you say were your sort of um, personal goals and ambitions for the future in your own sort of hockey career? Uh, well, I'd like to continue on playing as, as high a standard as possible. Um, so now I've got a taste of the Premier League. I, I do obviously want to stay here. Um, ideally, it'd be great to get to play some EHL stuff as well, um, and then further that just just further my international career. So continue to try and get a few more caps um, and just push myself as far as I can go, really.